Good morning, everyone. It's time for our short health talk this morning. And um, uh, um, I want to just say hi to everybody that might be watching online as well. And we're looking at eat, drink, and be strong. So as Hippocrates said, let food be your medicine and medicine be your food. Um, just a quick look at the insulin impact. How many, who, what's another name for insulin resistance? If you have insulin resistance, what do you have? Diabetes. diabetes, all right. And most people think that you get diabetes from eating sugar. But you know that that is not the biggest culprit for diabetes. What actually, it says, although sugar is bad for you, the number one enemy in insulin resistance is fat. So diets high in saturated fat, such as is found in meat, dairy, and eggs, have been found to increase insulin resistance. So how do you decrease it? By a whole foods, plant-based diet. That is how you decrease it. And then, um, I'm gonna skip that. We're gonna look at some G-bombs. G-BOMBS, it's an acronym that stands for greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, berries, and seeds. Um, they are nutrient-rich, rich, cancer-fighting foods, which are extremely protective against chronic disease, and they're the best foods on the planet for promoting health and longevity. So let's take a quick look at each one of these. G is for greens. And um, there are all kinds of wonderful greens out there. Well, I remember as a child, kid growing up, the only green I knew about was iceberg lettuce. That's all we ever had for lettuce, and that was the only lettuce I thought was out there. I never knew there was all these other wonderful greens and lettuces. But now I do know, so I like to eat them all, even though iceberg lettuce has its place as well. But, and so G is for greens, packed with nutrients and phytochemicals, leafy greens are some of the healthiest foods on the planet. These life-giving veggies get their vibrant color from chlorophyll. It's a nutrient-rich green substance that carries with it a host of benefits to the human body. The abundance of oxygen and healthy blood flow promoted by chlorophyll encourages the removal of harmful impurities and toxins, strengthens the immune system, and it helps put the body into a more alkaline state. And that's where you want your body to be at, is in an alkaline state, because you are less prone to get cancer then. If your body is too acidic, you are far more prone to get cancer and to have health challenges. So there are lots of wonderful greens out there. Um, romaine, um, arugula, collard, kale, spinach, Swiss chard, turnip. You have all kinds of greens. Eat them all. They're wonderful for you. Okay, B in the G-bombs is for beans. And anybody who struggles with insulin resistance should be eating lots of beans. Um, beans are rich in, they're a nutritional powerhouse. They're rich in protein. They're an excellent source of, fo of folate, which is a B vitamin and an immune system booster. They're high in fiber. They're rich in polyphenols, which are antioxidants, which protect the body from disease. Um, excellent for the heart. They're protective against cancer. They're stabilizers of blood glucose levels. They're good for the liver. They're helpful for appetite control. And they're beneficial for the gut. So you can't go wrong by eating beans. And then the O in G-bombs is for onions or the whole allium family, which includes chives, garlic, green onions or scallions, leeks, onions, and shallots. Um, they are rich in vitamins, minerals, and other health-promoting compounds. Onions and their allium cousins are very beneficial to both the immune system and overall health. So they're filled, filled with antioxidants and flavonoids, and there are lots and lots of benefits. And I don't have time to go through all of this with you. you really, if you don't have this book, see me. And I don't see Terry, but see me because I don't see Kasia. Oh, oh, there's Terry. 
You can see Terry or you can see Kasia, and we will make sure you get one of these books that looks like this. But if you have one, read this whole chapter. If you haven't read the book yet, you're really missing a lot of wonderful information. M in the G-bombs is for mushrooms. Mushrooms are actually marvelous for you. They boost your immune system, they destroy cancer cells, they facilitate nerve regeneration, they provide valuable nutrients, they help with weight management, and they eradicate viruses, including the flu and pox viruses, like smallpox, and bacteria like salmonella and E. coli and yeast. Yeast, so it sounds like to me you need to get busy and eat some more mushrooms. S is for seeds. Wait a minute, not spelling that right. There's a B before the S. B is for berries. And though they're small in size, they're giant in nutritional value. Berries are one of the healthiest foods you can eat. So you have all kinds of berries. You have blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, and cherries, and the list goes on and on. And so eat lots and lots of berries. They are, um, they're one of nature's best sources of antioxidants. So I can't get into all that. I don't have time, but you really need to get one of these books and read it. S is for seeds, and nuts are included in this category as well. Because seeds contain all the necessary nutrients to develop an entire plant, they are extremely nutritious. Packed with fiber, seeds are also loaded with healthy, healthy fats, not your unhealthy fats. Unhealthy fats come from meats and dairy and cheese and eggs and all of that kind of stuff. But your healthy fats are in your avocados and your seeds and your nuts and your olives. So that's what you want to be eating. Seeds contain, okay. Packed with fiber, seeds are also loaded with healthy fats, not to mention antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. And so some of the most healthiest seeds are pumpkin seeds, which are extremely good for men. They really help with your prostate, men. Sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, flax seeds, hemp seeds, and there's more seeds than that. And then as for nuts, the super, they, many studies have shown that those who eat nuts on a regular basis have longer and healthier lives. Rick and I eat nuts every day. And seeds. Nuts and seeds are healthiest raw and unsalted. I know they're good roasted and salted, but they lose something in, in their value when they're done, when you eat, that's the only way you eat them. So try to eat them more so raw. So here's your action plan. Take a look at your normal daily diet and consider it, consider it in light of the information in the, in the chapter. You'll need to get a book and read it if you don't have one. Ask yourself the following questions. Then if need be, make and put into action a plan to improve. Am I getting enough nitric oxide? And there's actually nitric foods that are rich in natural nitrates is what you want. You don't want the nitrates that are found in hot dogs and all of that. Those are very bad for you. Um, but your natural foods with natural nitrates are leafy greens, garlic, nuts, and seeds. You want to get that in your diet from natural sources. Do the foods I eat help to keep my blood sugar level stable? And which of the G-bomb food categories do I regularly eat? And how can I improve my diet so that I can live healthier and be healthier and be more of use in God's plan for this earth and, and helping others know about him? Because if we're not healthy, we don't feel like being his servants, do we? So um, think about what you eat. 